Welcome back, Obscure Mike people. It's Bark coming at you again with a rare one. It's an obscure one. It's what the channel's all about. It is the Kel HM 1X condenser microphone. Kel is a was a Canadian microphone company that uh produced a handful of microphones, this being one of the most popular, and there was a HM1 without the X. But it is a uh, medium diaphragm condenser microphone. Not very big. Nice size, actually. That's what she said. Ah, oh, he, ah, oh, 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 oh. Uh, anyways, yeah. So medium diaphragm condenser microphone. I have two of these. That's why I'm able to show you one and talk into one. And I have another Kel microphone that I'm going to do sometime shortly after this video. But... It's a condenser microphone. There's no bells or whistles, no switches. It does come in a metal carrying case. A uh, metal carrying case. Obviously, I got mine used. It does come with the shock mount that it's in, which looks something like this. It's like an open front, almost uh, Lewitt-like shock mount. Pretty good quality. The microphone goes in there like so. And I believe that there should have been a mounting ring like permanently installed, but they were loose. They don't have the, they're not connected, but they still work just fine. Not selling that one. Uh, also comes with a MXL style hard mount, you know, just a, just a straight out of the, straight out of the boom hard mount. The use case for these mics that uh, seems to be most popular is drum overheads. Don't know why I did that. It was fun though. Drum overheads. Flat response, though, also makes them usable for voice and a litany of other things. And it does sound really flat. It's very NT1-ish, SM7B-ish, neutral, flat, not really boosted in the top end. And there's enough low end to uh, blend nicely, but it's not boomy or anything like that. These are highly sought after for drum overheads, though. I, uh... I wouldn't mind using it on vocals, but I think a better use case for vocals would be the Kel HM3C, which is going to be on the channel soon. This is a better vocal microphone, in my opinion, and I can't wait for you to see it. If you click join on YouTube, you'll get early access to the HM3C for being a member. You'll get it at least a week before everyone else. So something to consider if you like being the first to see videos from anyone. I don't know if it's worth paying for me, but, and actually, you know what? I don't really care about the, the tiers and the pricing. So if you want to drop a comment down below and, and just kind of let me know what it would take to get you as a member of the channel, like what price per month do you think is good for early releases and uh, like a bonus podcast, the Obscure Mike's podcast, uh, which I, I am behind on. But what is the price? What What is a fair price to charge members to get early access to videos and little bits of other stuff here and there? What would you like to have as part of that membership? What would be valuable to you? Please feel free to post it in the comments down below. Pipe dream. But eventually it would be great if I could put all my efforts into this and not this in a nine to five pipe dream. Probably never going to happen, but we might as well give it a shot. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw some tests into the Kel HM one X. First, we're going to do some plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. And when you get right on top of the Kel HM one X, this is what it sounds like when you're directly on top of the Kel HM one X. This is what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and do some off-axis rejection. Talking into the front of the microphone, now I'm going to talk into the side of the microphone. Then I'm going to turn the microphone 180 degrees so you can hear what it sounds like when I'm talking into the rear of it. And uh, I don't think the other 90 degree angle is necessarily relevant, but turning it back around to the front of the microphone, there you go. Goodbye! Just kidding. Almost. Not really. Kinda. Let's throw a Wendy on. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Of course it's going to do that. Why did I even mess with it? Anyways, I've got two of these. If this is something you've been looking for, whether it's for drum overheads or something else, feel free to email me, bark at obscuremics.com. Had them for a while. Once I review a mic, I really 
don't need it. I kind of move on from it. So if this is a mic that you're interested in, let me know. This is a hard one to find. It's a rare one. I snagged the two that I saw, and those are the two that I saw for the first time in a year and a half, and I have not seen any since. So again, you want one, reach out. We'll negotiate. We'll come to terms. Capiche? Capiche? Okay, so this video was more of a self-promotion and please buy this mic session than it was anything else. But you know, I just don't have a lot to say about this mic. It's neutral, it's flat. Drum overheads are the biggest use case. You don't hear a lot of folks talking about them for vocals, but it does sound good for vocals. No problems, no qualms, no issues. It's gonna work for that instrumentation, probably that too. It's kind of a, it's a nice Swiss Army knife of a mic to have in your collection if you can find one. That's the difficult part if you can find one. Anyways, thanks to the current members that are uh, at the beginning of the page there. Got to remove one. Somebody fell off there, but appreciate those folks. Again, HM3C, that video is going to be coming out shortly after this one, but for members only for, I don't know how long, week, two weeks, three weeks, hard to tell. I'm going to try to do a slew of videos here soon. So members are going to get like three, four, five videos before the next one even comes out. Hit join to be a part of that. But thanks also for being a part of this. Obscure mics, Kel, HM1X is out of here. Pretty cool, rare, obscure mic. It's what it's all about. Good times. Peace out.